is the Doctor Inn, just around the corner from Maine and Kendall, was the home of Doctor and Mr. Mrs. Walker. How many of you went to Doctor Walker? How many of you were scared to death of Doctor Walker? <laughs> okay. I hate to tell, tell the story, but uh, I used to tell my kids, you'll get an ice cream cone if you don't cry when the Dr. Walker takes care of you. <laughs> so it was one of those. Now, Dr. Paler was a little different. He was kind of big and lovely and, and loved everybody and went on from there. But uh, he could tell it like it was, too. So we're glad the doctor was in. Now we have to travel to do that. Multiple businesses on the south side of town. Uh, when we moved to town, the Benners had uh, the lumber yard and then the Rundy Oval Pen, we had it. And Mike, how many years have you been in business? Uh, since 73. 73. He's getting to be a young man, isn't he? <laughs> okay, some residents were known better for their hobbies than their jobs. Uh, Jack Dice was a neighbor of ours, and uh, we have the uh, horse set that he uh, sold, and you always see it at the funeral home when you go in. One morning at Christmas time, Jack always dressed up as Santa Claus. And uh, he called up and he said, I, can I come over and be uh, Santa Claus for John? And I said, yeah. And so when he knocked on the door, I told John to go to the door. I think he was about five. And he said, hi, Jack, come on in. <laughs> And it took the wind out of Jack's sails, I believe me. <laughs> he liked to buy and sell, and you know that if you've been around him, so that was fun. Others made a hobby of their job. Uh, when Don Shenfield was growing up, he, the beekeeping was a hobby, and uh, of course it turned into a business. Uh, Janice then had a honey shop for a while uh, downtown here. and. Uh, so it's, it's always fun to see where he's got his beehives for the next year. Still others were known by their jobs and their hobbies. And uh, most of us that were around knew that John Faust was a, an excellent uh, carpenter, but he also had a lot of other things he liked to do. He liked to fly uh, helicopters and he liked to sing, especially he liked to sing. And uh, then he got into uh, uh, keeping tractors. Mention a family name and we immediately say something special and here's the Troyer family. Uh, how many of you are related to the Troyers? Let's get your hands up. Okay, we've got some Troyers here back there. Okay, uh, a lot of exciting things uh, to uh, talk with them. A lot of good jobs that they had and worked for them. And uh, we've already seen the bottom guy before without his hat, okay? When the Troyers decided to, uh, to do this, then they left the farm and they left um, uh, that's one of the greatest assets we've had. If you remember, before the library was here, we had a bookmobile that came out from Wabash. And uh, how neat it is to have our own library here to, uh, now, so that's important. Now, the interesting thing about the library is um, that we have some employees at the library, uh, which are different, okay. Uh, but w uh, connected with that. So Janice, how many years have you worked for the Troyers? Uh, since 1981, when Hazel Young retired. OK, and it was appropriate that Hazel got to be the librarian uh, there. Appropriate that you did, because you'd already worked for uh, the Troyers in another way. Um, they've remodeled the house. They built it in the first place, knowing that that was what they wanted to do. Uh, and it's been remodeled. and just now having your children's uh, library, right? Okay, and so we're looking forward to that. Former resident, uh, Lorraine Silvers, she was my uh, sorority sister. Uh, she gave up on me a long time ago with that. Okay, um, she had painted buildings of the school and the Troyers, and they're down at the library. 